Warning, this video contains strong language and profanity. It may not be suitable for children and sensitive adults. Wah. What is up, my fellow vape heads? B-Man Vapor back again with another review. Long time no see. Um, we are going to be checking out today another fucking pod system. Yes, I know. Another fucking pod. The fucking companies are shitting them out like bricks. There are so damn many fucking pod systems out there, it's almost ridiculous. But anyway, this is another pod system. And as you can see, uh, it is another ripoff from Smock of another uh, pod system that's been out for quite some time. Uh, I don't know if you remember the, um, the Me Pod. Well, this is Smock's version of the Me Pod. This is the Miko uh, pod system. And as you can see, it, uh, it's pretty, uh, the shape is pretty much like it. It's got an on and off switch right here, which I do not fucking know why there's an on and off switch on a pod system, but there is. Um, uh, underneath here, that's your USB charging port. Why they put it on the fucking very bottom, I'll never know. I mean, you know, wouldn't you want your shit to be sitting up, you know, while you're charging it? Instead of this damn on and off switch, right there is where the fucking uh, charge uh, port should be. But, uh, but I, I digress. Anyway, uh, this motherfucker right here is made out of zinc alloy is the materials around it. It's got these nice little uh, resin panels on, uh, on the sides. You got a little view window here so you can see your fucking juice. Um, right now I'm running a ceramic coil in here, but it does come with a mesh coil and it comes with a regular round wire coil. <clears throat> um... The mesh coil uh, that comes with this, I believe, I uh, apologize, got the instructions here, let's see here. The mesh coil uh, that comes with this is a 0.8 ohm, and the, uh, the round wire is a 1 ohm. So yeah, and they're both 1.7 mils, so just under 2 mils of juice uh, in these pods. So that should last you pretty much all day. It's a 700 milliamp battery. Uh, life so yeah that, that should last you pretty much all fucking day <clears throat> um, the output power of this SOB is 10 watts to 26 watts so I'm assuming it's 26 watts fully charged and then as it dissipates or whatever or uh, as as it goes down um, your lowest will probably be about 10 watts so you start losing power as you lose battery um, the input voltage is 3.3 .3 to 4.2 volts. The output is 3.0 3 to 4.0. So yeah, not too bad of a little fucking pod system. I mean, it hits pretty decently. Um, the only, my only complaint is if you're liking nice restricted, you know, like, like normal pods. You know, you got that, that, like the cigarette feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, you will not get it from this. I mean, you can, you can take... Uh, mouth to lung hits, but it just, <clears throat> I don't know, too much fucking air in my opinion. If you can see that right there, that fucking hole right there underneath the pod, that is your, uh, that is your airflow, that big gaping fucking hole there. So yeah, way too much fucking air. They should have put a little, a little, you know, dial so you can fucking dial down your air, but, uh, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, let's take a rip ski real quick, and I'll show you uh, the vapor production on this little pod system. Here's a mouth to lung. I find myself having to take primer puffs. Like, I gotta, you know, puff it a couple times, then take my hit. Not too bad. Not too bad, but it's still way too fucking airy. Way too airy, in my opinion. Now, a straight lung hit, you can lung hit the fuck out of this all day long. If that's, you know, if that's your cup of tea. Me, personally, uh, you know, I got plenty of other devices to lung hit. You know, if I got a pod, I want a pod system to hit like a fucking cigarette. Get my quick nicotine fix and go about my day. Uh, this right here is, <clears throat> I don't know. But anyway, here's a lung hit. Not too bad, not too bad. Not bad at all. As you can see with lung hits, it's putting out like a cheap slut. I mean, most definitely. Uh, 
but it is what it is. <clears throat> anyway, let's jump down in the up and close real quick. Let's take a look at it. Should be pretty, uh, pretty fucking short and shiny because uh, it, it's a pod system. There ain't really too much to show you. There's no menu, no nothing like that. Um, I'll just show you the aesthetics. You know what comes in the package, what the package looks like, all that good shit. And uh, we'll come back up, talk pros, cons, price, and all that other shit you need to know. Let's get down there. Oh, fucking Rizite. So here it is. Here is the Smock Miko Pod Kit. This is the package it comes in. Pretty uh, typical of uh, Smock, this kind of packaging. They do these sleeve uh, packaging quite a bit in a lot of their products, especially their pod products. But anyway, that is the front. There is that side, there's the bottom, there's that part, ain't nothing on the top or bottom. And then on this side, here is your quality control and all that bullshit. And here's your scratch and sniff, so you can go online and make sure you didn't get fucked when you bought this. Make sure it's the authentic product. So let's see what they put inside. So here we go, here it is, when you pull off your sleeve, you are greeted with your pod your miko pod system it kind of it will come with two coils these right here are the two are ceramic coils because i uh i've had this for a little while and i already used up the round wire coil and the mesh coil that come with this originally so i put a couple in there so you can see what it looks like packaged so yeah that is how it is right there so let's pop this bad boy out and have a look this is uh, oh wait a minute we'll get to the uh, shit on the inside get to that in a minute but anyway I've set that aside and you got this sleeve on the inside pull that out everything I uh, apologize the way it looks I just kind of stuffed everything back in here to show you what comes with it it will be uh, a little packaged better than this when you get it but you will get a uh, lanyard which is pretty fucking nice uh, a lot of uh, little pod systems are starting to come with these these days so it does say smock on the side of it pretty fucking nice little lanyard it's nice and a uh, solid pretty decent quality and then you will get this little fucking dinky fucking little charger these uh these are all right they work but i mean if you don't have you know a computer or why well, everybody's got a computer but i mean you know somewhere to plug this in so it's real close you know, like sitting it on the desk or something, these can be a pain in the ass. I like the longer ones, but hey, it works, it gets the job done. And then, of course, you get your fucking deck of cards in here. You get a little fucking desk in pack. I don't know why that's in there, moisture, I guess. Anyway, you got your manual, and that is another color that this will come in. It comes in an array of different colors. You get, uh, let's see, there's blue, there's this orange, uh, orange resin kind of one. And then, uh, there's there's green, uh, yellow, I think, a bunch of different fucking colors. And of course, you get your uh, warranty card, tells you about how to do the uh, how to do the scratch and sniff and all that shit. So yeah, that's it. That's what comes in the fucking box. Throw this shit back in here, and we'll get to the fucking task at hand. Move this shit out the way. So here it is. Here is the Miko Pod system. And I must say, you know, even though this is a fucking Mi Pod ripoff, uh, it is pretty fucking quality made. Uh, it's made out of zinc alloy. Uh, pretty fucking solid. Um, it just, it, it's for, for smock, you know, they, they do make quality products at times. Some of their sh things are uh, shit, but uh, most of the time they come out with pretty good quality stuff. Uh, just like the mag, I've had the mag for shit uh, well over a year and a half, and it's still solid and uh, works just fucking beautifully still. But uh, but yeah, they do use uh, quality products. Um, like I was saying in the uh, in the up top when I opened this video, there is a on and off switch on the side here. Why there's an on and off switch on this little fucking device that uh, is puff activated, I will never fucking know. But it's on there. They should have that right there. It should be where the USB charge port is, in my opinion. But they put the charge port on the bottom, which is completely fucking stupid. Most of the time, you know, with uh, with my pod devices or any tank device, you want your tank sitting up. You know what I mean? You don't want 
to lay it down. And so you have a chance of leaking and just, this is not good. You want your shit sitting straight up like this. And with this kind of device here, how it has this nice big flat bottom, it sits, it does sit up fucking nicely. It's nice and well balanced. I mean, you can shake the shit out of, you know, stuff and it ain't gonna fall over. Nice and balanced. So why would they have not put this on the side? is uh is beyond me and then right here this little part here is where you will stick your lanyard you'll run the little cord through there you know and tighten it down and that's that's how it'll hang it'll hang you know it can hang on your neck just like so but yeah uh pretty fucking nice right here you got these little view windows so you can see your juice down up in there is the two connections your positive and your negative where your um your little pod will go in there matter of fact let's grab a pod this one right here is uh, one of the ceramic ones I've been using, and I must say, uh, ceramic is awesome. I uh, switched to ceramic in a lot of my pod systems uh, quite a while back, and uh, I prefer those over anything. Just a nice, clean, smooth hit. Um, they last for fucking ever. Uh, my Veladen uh, little pod stick I have, I've got a ceramic pod in it, and uh, I think I'm going on my third month with that. <clears throat> you might be thinking, oh damn, three months using the same coil, it's got to be nasty. Uh, I beg to differ. It uh, It's still... A beautiful fucking, you know, it's starting to, you know, the flavor is starting to go away a little bit, but it's still hitting beautifully. But anyway, this is the the, uh, the ceramic pod right here. Uh, they do have two other options. Like I said before, you get a, you can get a round wire one. Um, I can't remember what the specs were on that. Um, let's see, the round, uh, the round wire one is a one, uh, one ohm. And then the uh, the mesh coil is a 0 0.8 ohm. So uh, so yeah, the other two you get a mesh and a round wire. And this is the ceramic ones. Uh, these just came out recently, not too long ago, about a month ago or so. I'd say the ceramic ones came out for this, and I must say they work lovely. And the pod fits in here beautifully. It's a as you can see, it fucking's got a nice magnet. It just pulls it right in. There's no clicking or nothing like that. It just drop it in there, and it's in there solid. It ain't going nowhere. That sucker's in there. And my only bitch about this is this fucking huge ass air hole on here. You know, uh, in my opinion, you know, they should have put, you know, maybe just a little pinhole in the side or, you know, something to kind of draw, you know, that air down. Way too much fucking air for a pod system, in my opinion. I mean, it hits great, you know, if you want to take a deep, you know, nice little lung hit. You know, and you can, you know, take uh, mouth to lung hits, but it, it's just way too much air. You got to fucking primer puff it a few times and all that, but it is what it is. But yeah, that is it. That is the uh, Smock Miko. That's the package, everything it comes in right there, and that's what she looks like up close. So let's take it back up top, and we'll talk pros, cons, price, all that other fucking shit. So there you have it. There is the Smock Miko, and as you can see, it's a pretty decent pod system. You know, um, my only complaint with it is just that fucking air hole. You know, there's just way too much air with it. But uh, but other than that, it is a pretty fucking decent little pod system, I must say. If you like taking you know deep you know lung hits off your pod systems, you, you can fucking do it with this. I mean, it hits fucking nice. Now, there are some people out there who do like, you know, an airy fucking draw. You know, I mean, if you if that's what you like in your pod systems, then this is definitely for you. I mean, you know, other than that, I mean, I do love the aesthetics of this. I love the way it looks. I love the feel. It's nice and nice and weighty. Feels of quality. You know, I like the fucking the little lanyard that comes with it. It's pretty fucking decent. And the pods are real good too. The pods last a long time. Now the um, the round wire and the mesh ones, eh, they they last you know about a month or so, and then you'll be changing them out. But these ceramic ones, I would strongly suggest picking you up some ceramic ones for this. If uh, if you get this, definitely go with the ceramic pods. They they will last fucking forever. Um, it holds 1.7 mils of juice. You know that's that's got to be a fucking pro. Um, um, you know, the, the quality of it, you know, that's gotta be a pro, um, yeah, it's just a great fucking, uh, great little pod system in my opinion, um,
I wish Smock would, uh, you know, quit ripping companies off and fucking design their own fucking products. But, you know, hey, you know, I guess if uh, the companies are okay with them ripping them off, Smock does do a good job producing products. So, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as pros go, I mean, you know, pros all across the board, you know. Um, Cons-wise, um, the only really cons I can say is that air, you know, there's way too much airflow. And uh, this on and off switch, I mean, why? You, you don't fucking need an on and off switch on a draw activated pod system. You just, you don't fucking need it. And then where they where they put the fucking USB charts, that, that's stupid. That should have been on the side so you can set this up, you know, when you're charging it. But, um... Yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. I mean, other than that, it's a decent little pod system. I mean, if you like the Mi Pod, you know, you'll like this. Other than, you know, quite a bit more airflow. But other than that, it's not bad. See, I got to take a couple hits, you know, as far as, you know, mouth to lung. I got to get a couple to get, you know, a satisfying hit. But other than that, it is what it is. Uh, you can pick these up uh, pretty much anywhere. They're on fucking every website you can think of. Um, I'm sure a lot of damn near every vape shop has these. Um, they're around the $30, $35 mark, depending on where you get it. So, yeah. For, you know, a decent uh, quality fucking uh, little pod system, that's not too damn bad. But, yeah. Um... Appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you very much. Um, I've got a few more videos in the works that I will be putting up here very soon. So um, stick around for that. I um, uh, would appreciate a subscribe. If not, you know, it is what it is. Uh, like the video uh, if y'all want to. Um, so yeah. Oh, and uh, thank you very much to the 43 subscribers that have subscribed so, subscribed so far. You guys fucking kick ass. Thank you very much. And uh, keep on watching because uh, there's more to come. So uh, thank you all very much. Uh, this is B-Man Vapor signing out. Y'all definitely keep on vaping.